What's up Madden fans, welcome to today's video guys, and in today's video we're going to be discussing how to use your catch uh, in Madden 25. Guys, this is just a little nugget that you can throw into uh, your bunch offense or any offense that you have where your receivers are in compressed sets and you can motion one of them to the outside. So you see here Miles Austin is uh, the ability to be able to motion him as we've talked about in a couple of tutorials uh, is essential and the bunch is a, a really powerful formation in this year's game. Uh, when I was preparing uh, for the tournament for Mutthead.com I am, as I'm preparing for it today, I'm developing all sorts of different offenses and defenses and things like that uh, to help me have success against some of the better uh, mutt overall players, and I figured that I might as well uh, start working on routes that are very difficult to defend. Now, the bunch side is very difficult to defend, especially in a play like Z-Spot where you have uh, this nice little route over the middle where you can uh, click on and make a user catch on that, on that nice little angled post route. Now the cool part about today's video is we're going to be showing you how to use or catch uh, another on the other side. So now they're going to have to guard the right side and the left side. All right, guys. So what you want to do? The first thing you want to do is you want to have your tight end on these flat routes. You see this flat route? It's going to be very important because it's going to suck zones down for later uh, play. Next thing you want to do is you want to hot route this receiver, uh, Terrence Williams, here to a curl route or uh, some kind of a streak or something like that because he's going to stretch the defense uh, vertically. Okay, so we have a horizontal stretch from Witten, a vertical stretch from Williams. Now we're going to place our far left receiver here, Miles Austin, on a hitch route. We want to leave that five-yard hitch route, and that's what we're going to use to user catch. We're going to motion him out to the numbers, and then we're going to pass lead inside, and we're going to click on and make a user catch. Now let's go into instant replay here and take a look at the catch that we just initiated with Miles Austin. You see, we step as soon as we snap the ball. We're pass leading to the inside after about a second, and we click on as soon as we pass the ball, and we just click on, and the defender will not react. Okay, now that's just part of taking advantage of the way that the game works, and it's something that I uh, think is very valuable when developing a strategy to beat some of the top tier uh, players who will have those 99 overall uh, Deion Sanders and Richard Shermans. Here you see against cover two, I can still get that user catch in because of that flat route. Let's take a look at this in instant replay. Most people will try to stop this with cover two, and you'll see here that you cannot do that. Here we take a look, and you see at the snap of the ball, you see watch the cornerback's eyes. You see how he's looking at the quarterback, and then he's when uh, he's going to shift his focus from Miles Austin to Jason Witten, and he will not be able to react to the ball because of that flat route. Now, even if you waited a little bit longer here, you can actually get even more separation. Here we'll show it to you uh, again against the cover two just to show you that it's not a fluke. Here we motion out. You see that he's going to go underneath to take that. You see I waited just a little hitch step longer, and now you see that we're able to beat that cover two uh, very effectively with this hitch route. Now, guys, you can do this out of uh, gun snugs. You can also do this out of gun tight doubles on any compressed formation. Uh, another another thing another thing that you can do is is maybe sometimes where uh, you have like a trio set. So here we'll show you this trio falcon, and you see that I can put Miles Austin on this hitch route like that. And so you would do the same thing. You would just take Murray, put him on a flat route or a swing pass route. Take Witten, put him on that curl route. We got Austin on the hitch. We can motion him all the way across the formation. And now you see I can motion in, snap, and get the same type of an animation. So this is uh, applied to more formations than just a bunch. Now, real quick here, I just want to cycle through. We'll show this to you against maybe a cover two sink. You know, some people think that the yellows are going to be able to uh, take advantage of of sitting on this route. And you'll see here that's just not the case. We get in that inside position and can easily fit that ball over and over and over again. The importance of this route is not to spam it every play. I want to stress that. If you if you spam this every play, eventually your opponent will go over there and user control that route. But the key is when he user controls that route, and there I uh, showed you, you can also wait a little bit longer uh, if you want to and, and kind of take advantage of, of the flat route being able to suck things down. Now some people may say, okay, well we'll put a curl flat route out there. And you'll see here that that won't do anything else because the curl flat will pay more attention to the curl route by Williams than it will against the hitch route. I actually bumped the 
wrong button there and uh, luckily completed it. But let's take a look here. If they if they do decide to place a curl flat route on the outside here, you're going to see that we're going to be able to easily fit this user catch in and, uh, and continue to take advantage of those quick 10-yard gains. This is something that you can work off of everything else that we're doing. So, for example, one of my favorite things to do in the bunch is motion this receiver four steps to the outside snap on a drag, and you see that he's going to get that inside position and be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage that way. Another thing that I like to do, uh, especially from the bunch, is take advantage of Des Bryant's route. Well, maybe something that you might do now because you have that user catch. They go over to that user catch on the left, and now you're hitting them over the middle with Des Bryant. The possibilities are endless, guys, but this user catch opens up a lot of opportunity and ability to be able to uh, really force your opponent to have to user defend that hitch route. I think it's a very uh, underrated user catch this year. I haven't seen a whole lot of people talking about it. I talked about it in the beginning of the year, and it just kind of popped into my head when I was doing some practice mode and labbing uh, for the live mutthead.com tournament so if you guys aren't uh, on that tournament scene guys you may go check out mutthead.com and they have a tournament over there also guys I'll be having a link on my Facebook page which you can follow facebook.com slash madden tips 365 thank you so much for watching today and let me know if this video helped you